Hey, what's up? This is Chess Chip from the Chess Chip Plays Games, and that, that that doesn't. That's not working properly, is it? But that's fine. This is supposed to be like a boss thing, and oh, it's disappeared again, so obviously. Pff, it's not real good. It's not real good. What you gonna do, right? I tried to make the stream more interactive and fun. Because interactive and fun. Hey, Spider Man! Alright, good. <laughs> I got no idea what I'm doing tonight. Uh, I I tried to get PUBG working properly, um, and unfortunately, uh, we just don't have the bandwidth, which is real sad. Um, I guess it was bound to happen. Uh, trying to get it running again. Uh, I did try tethering my mobile phone, but unfortunately, ain't gonna happen. Pokemon's time. So I thought we'd just like ladder or something. I look to be honest, I just I don't I don't know. Like we'll just we'll play. Uh, my contact lens has given me uh, a bit of a, a weird milky eye at the moment, which is really frustrating. Uh, cool. That's all done. That's taken care of. Uh, yeah, so I just thought, like, uh, we'd go in and, uh, like, the ladder at the moment's really good. Uh, for those of you who don't know much about Pokemon, these are great. Hypnotoxic lasers. Pew pew laser eyes. You want to get them. You want to get them all. Not, not catch them all. You just want to get them all. Let's go and play one of my favorite decks. Yeah, because why not? Wow, 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 wow. Alright, with Pokemon TCG. Uh, yeah, we'll go first. Sure. Donna's been trying to suck him in with glee. It's almost working. It's kind of an enjoyable show. It's like a one of those guilty pleasure shows. Which is real weird. But it's not terrible. So, that's a plus. Alright, let's have a look. Um, Mew's gonna screw my, my, my stuff up. It's gonna say something else that I decided not to. Uh, what are we gonna do here? Turn one. Yeah, okay. I know what we need to do. So basically what we're going to do is... Yep. We're going to... It's been a while since I've actually played this deck. So we're going to tap a lily. We're going to say yes. Ah, oh, you're an idiot, Al. I was going to get a Wally, but we don't have... Oh, we don't need the evolution, do we? Thinking Evo Soda for some reason. Uh, so, Wally to cheat into play the Electrode. Play the Tapu, which takes the energy and becomes our active Pokemon. Then we will Buzz Zap to kill the Electrode. It attacks us to Lightning, special Lightning energy, uh, directly to our Tapu. And now. Once it gets to our turn again, we can just start uh, screwing our opponent's stuff up, which is great. Have we got the latest version of OBS Studio? Yes, I do. Uh, yes. Still troubleshooting. Forever troubleshooting. So this is... how would you put this in magic terms? This is sort of like a vintage combo deck in a way. Um, it, it's basically, I guess, ramp. Like it's a rampy style deck actually thinking about it. So maybe more akin to like modern. I guess, sort of, maybe. I don't even know anymore. 
All we know is we want to do some ladder and we're going to kick some butt. Floatstone? Oh no! Okay, so I guess we're going. Ooh! Oh, you switched my stuff up. Do you have weakness? No, good. That's fine. Uh. Let's grab an energy, because why not? I mean, we don't need to, but it's just so we can get... Ah, oh, we could have just Ace Rollered. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter anyway. See, that's how long it's been. It's been a while. Retreat for you. Uh, now, our opponent only has one energy, so we don't want to waste this. Instead, we'll just Sky High Claws our opponent for 130, which is uh, quite a bit of damage. It's quite nice. Yes, yes, it's quite nice. Always went in, almost went into a matter of thing. It's delicious, delectable. Matter Hardy is just killing it right now, just killing it. Boom. Uh, cool. Thanks for the fresh new hand, buddy. Ah, oh, pairing up a pseudo widow. All right, this could be interesting. Could be, probably won't be. Yeah, that's not just active Pokemon. One of your Pokemon that has any damage. Okay, great. Problem is that it's uh, that it's a um, a supporter type, which is kind of frustrating. Uh, but that's that's fine. We can make it out. All right, we'll put down one of those, buddy. Um, we'll, I don't think we need to put an energy down on anything really, but should we? Hmm. I guess probably not really. Uh, what are we going to discard though? An energy, probably the max elixir. Uh, we will get ourselves a new tapu. Yeah, it looks good. Still that one, still that one. Uh, we'll put an energy under this one back here. We'll pick this one up to our hand. And then, uh, that's only going to do 100 damage versus 130. So we may as well just sky high claws again. Pick up those, uh, beautiful two prizes. As soon as it decides it wants to. Mm-hmm. Ugh, bloody eyes. But notification. Big bad kaiju is now hosting me. Thank you very much, Big Bad Kaiju. Much love. Uh actually I am going to visit Big Bad Kaiju in April. Uh, when I go across for the Sydney Channel Fireball Magic Grand Prix. I'm going to be hype. Going to be so hype. It's going to be good. I'm, I'm really excited. Just in case you couldn't tell for some reason. Just connecting myself back to chat. Um, okay, so let's go in uh, Rangaroo. Uh, this we can just kill straight out, I think. Uh, do we want to? I think we do. Yeah, let's end. 
So to reduce our opponent's hand down to three, we'll go down to four, which is fine. We have a field blur if we need it. Mm, yeah, you know what? I don't like the look of this and this, so we'll get rid of them. Chuck a lightning energy down here, or electricity energy, really. <laughs> but yeah, lightning energy. Uh, we don't need to play a Voltorb here, so we're going to like not do it. We are going to kill that, though. Puts it on an even kill with our opponent for uh, prizes. Which really doesn't matter that much to us, to be honest. The problem with Mew is that Mew, as long as it has the energy, can do just as much damage as a Boswall. <laughs> Get swallowed, Boswall! Uh, I think here yeah, I kind of just want to... Good question. Hmm. Oop. It's a Guzma! That's not going to be great. Uh, I don't think it kills my Rangaroo though. No. Close, but not really. Thank goodness. Uh, okay, let's see here. One of you there. Do I have anything to retreat this? I don't know if I do. Another one of those. See ya. Oh, I know what I have another one to retreat it with. And I didn't get one. Okay. But we can dig one up from our discard pile. So Rescue Stretcher will go and handily get us a Tapu uh, Koku from our discard pile. Pop it into play. We're going to take one, two, three energy. It becomes our active. Yay for us. Uh, and then we'll just Sky High Claws. Oh yeah, baby. How's that on your buzz wall? Okay, so excuse me. Oh, so our opponent's attack is now going to do what? An extra ten? Unless I have weakness, then it's an extra twenty. I'm not too fussed about that. Um, not unless our opponent can somehow like mega power up in one turn, which oh, actually. <laughs> well, no, that's not that easy because they also have to retreat the Pokemon. Uh, which, unless they're running an escape rope, they're just not going to be able to do it. Even if they do, they're not going to be able to kill anything off um, by the looks of it. They're going to come close. They keep elixir in. Yeah, sorry. Still doesn't kill my back Pokemon, but uh, nice try, buddy. Speaking of killing back Pokemon, though, hey there, you're fully powered up. I haven't used my GX ability. You know what that means. Bam! Take that out. If I was my opponent, how pissed am I feeling right now between, like, one and ten. It's a nine. Yeah. Big chunk of damage. Got lots of Guzmas in hand, so as long as our opponent doesn't shuffle our hand away, we can bring up this guy. Just take the match. I mean, we can kill the Mew, I guess, but that's that's no fun. Good old R type. Oh, cashback. You are so awesome. Yeah, all right, all right. Adjustments need to be made. Oh boy. So our opponent's going back to their like plan of of powering up again. 
uh, with some strong energies. Go for it, buddy. Go for it, buddy. Not gonna win. You are not gonna win. You can try as much as you want. Your valiant efforts go unnoticed, I guess. Speaking of valiant efforts, boy, Marvel, you're hot right now. So hot, so hot. Uh, new trailer for Infinity War looks really, really good. So good. Mm-hmm. What is my opponent doing? Wah, wah, wah. I think this is new music in game. Which is interesting. Man, people keep talking about Scott Pilgrim lately and now I just kind of want to play some Scott Pilgrim. Whoa. But that is a title. What are you talking about? Oh. What are you doing? Dear opponent, which what you doing, yo? Bang and coming from upstairs. <sighs> Yay, finally. Wa wa, we won. And whoop! Almost the full way through, thousand damage. Sweet plasma blast, plasma blast booster packs. That's um. I took a massive hiatus from Pokemon for a long time, uh, and I actually came back during the plasma blast era, um, which was amazing. That's that's why I have. Hang on. One of my favorite decks all time, of all time, which is uh, AT and T. So this is all terrain, all terrain, depending on who you want to call it. Uh, this is just a plasma deck. Uh, I still win tournaments with it. Go figure. It's it's just amazingly good. Uh, never gonna get rid of it. I did make the mistake uh, during beta of getting rid of that deck, and it was very hard to trade back for. But uh, I got it back. It's real good. It's real good. Like, it's surprisingly good. Burr, burr, burr. Burr, 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 burr. Oh, here we go. I was about to run into uh, doing a, a spot, a promo spot. Um, running out of tea. Because I haven't done a promo spot yet. Uh, and I should probably do that. Or so they tell me. So, we're going to hit yes here. Uh, for all of your TCG and CCG needs, go and check out Urza's Trade House at facebook.com forward slash Urza's Trade House. They support the show and they are our live producer for this month. Yes, they are. They are very good. Uh, Raymond is a very nice guy. And I should check him out and his stuff. Uh, and buy singles and stuff through his eBay store. Pokemon keeps ticking, which I guess is appropriate appropriate for uh, Cheshire, right? Yeah, something like that. Bit of a late start tonight. I apologize. But uh, some some things had to be done. Speaking of one two, this isn't gonna look good. This isn't gonna look good for Ash. 
Not, not at all. Uh, Vault Orb. Uh, we are going to Coco. Yoink. Uh, whoop. Use this first instruct. Okay. Done. We don't need to spend our hand out. We'll, we'll keep that. So again, this is just basically like a combo deck. Um, there's an easy way for, for to foil it. There are some decks out there that uh, are about getting rid of your opponent's energy and stuff. So, but Pokemon doesn't have any real like hand attack as such. So, you know, it's a little bit different. Oh. Arena tomorrow night uh, at 8 p.m. ADT. Some uh, Magic the Gathering Arena. I'm really, really excited. As you can tell by the high voice. Uh, no, it should be really good. Really good. Real good massa. Thank you, MTG, but nice to know that you're here. Looking after all the Twitches. <laughs> hmm. Whoops. Uh, I keep forgetting that I've got like fingerprints turned on. That's frustrating me to no end. Uh, I have to figure out how to turn that off later. Having to put my fingerprint for everything is just like, it's real frustrating. <laughs> I do not recommend it. Uh, settings. What are we going to go to here? Settings, I guess it might be under lock screen and security. Lock screen type, enter the current pin. Yep, got that. It's waiting for our opponent at this point. Uh, swipe, no security. Move fingerprints, remove. Okay. There we go. Okay, great. We got it back, fam. It's all good. Uh, Alright, so... Let's... Power up. That's going to be annoying. Buzz zap. So I can hit you for 200 and kill you, but I've got to worry about you. Your opponent's active Pokemon have paralyzed. Eh, that's fine. It's not such a big deal, to be honest, in this deck. As much as it sounds like it should be, it's really not. Um, let's draw a card, and that's why. Uh, doesn't matter. We're gonna burn it. Burn it away. I'm gonna bring up my Twitch chat again. Sorry. Uh, okay, cool. So let's chuck this one here out. Uh, we've got a stretcher, which is amazing, uh, but we can just. Shabam! It's been real slow tonight. Uh, maybe due to the update, I'm not real sure. Which is weird. <sighs> Let's change that to... Okay, okay, hmm. So our opponent's going to hit us for 100. There's nothing we can do about that. Uh, and it will uh, sus sus suspend, paralyze uh, our Tapu Coco, which is fine. Because what we'll do is we will use a stretcher to get our other Tapu back and then just trade it through. 
Um, Blizzard Burn, Collect. Cool, you don't have any funky abilities I need to worry about. That one does, but that's fine. Oh, come on. Chat only, yes, thanks. Apply. Um, so I've seen people like playing Sea of Thieves and it looks real good. Uh, if I, by some miracle, find a way to get a press copy or something, I will definitely uh, play it and try and figure out a way to stream it because it looks like a ball of fun. It looks like so much fun. Um, nothing better than sailing around the high seas as a pirate doing piratey things. Like, that would just make for such a great stream. Oh, look at our poor opponent. They think they got this. Ha! Ha! I'll take that one, thanks. Uh, and that one, thanks. No, uh, it's all good. Uh, chuck an energy on you. Chuck you down. I feel like for the sake of completeness, I am going to Ace Roller. Just to get the damage Pokemon off the floor. There we go. So yeah, uh, so we just beat a Buzzwall deck, uh, which I didn't I didn't actually think we'd be able to do with this deck, to be honest, uh, just because I haven't updated this deck in a while. Um, I know that Buzzwall and... What was the other top deck? It's like a, not a Dark Eye deck. Um, somebody help me out here. Zorak GX deck. Um, they're the two like big decks, the, the big skeletons in the closet, the big ghosts of the format, the big scary decks, the big dogs, I guess. Uh, and I'm running an underdog deck, which is funny because it's more of a, like, a, a semi-combo deck, I guess. But, uh, yeah, that's that's been interesting. Ooh, our opponent's gonna smack us for a fair bit of damage. Can't put it away, though. Nice try. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to pitch two energy. And we're going to grab this. Uh, guess our opponent realized what we were doing. Basically go and get another Ace Roller. Put the other Coco back in your hand. Uh, yeah. It's real good. Thank you, Kashi. Uh, if you're not following I-T-Z-K-O-C-H-I-E here on the Twitch, please do that. Uh, because Iz Koshi is amazing, and he's only a couple of uh, subscribers away from a drunk stream. Where he will be getting Blotto on stream for you folks, and I think I'm probably going to join him uh, for a nice long PUBG session. Uh, also, a good friend of mine. Uh, he writes and co-owns, I believe, the Progress Bar website, which is a game review website. Speaking of game review websites, you should go and check out my MTG articles on puremtgo.com, and you should go to goto.game for my other articles, which are on sometimes MTG, sometimes movies, uh, all sorts of different stuff. Go and check it out. Plug is plugged. Uh, if you want to meet me in person and you live in Sydney, Australia, you can go to hashtag GP Sydney on April V. I always get it wrong. What is that date? It's the 13th to the 4th, uh, the 13th to the 15th? Yeah, 13th to the 15th. So on the 13th, I will be doing some MTG stuff there uh, in the way of doing uh, bounty events where you can battle against me for extra prizes. Uh, there will be meet and greets set up by Channel Fireball in the form of uh, some spell slinging where you can bring in your deck and play against me. Uh, and some other content creators such as MP Numbers, uh, Bronson Magic, or Bronson198, Bronson anyway here from Twitch, uh, MP Numbers, Bronson, Whole Box and Dice, uh, Draftaholics are going to be there, I don't know what they're doing but you can meet them as well. And of course, uh, Sparrow's Room. So yeah, pretty solid lineup. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, 
and you should be well excited like I am. I'm not going to spend that. So that's cool. Lots of very, very cool things are going to go on, sir. Yes. Uh oh. Oh, that's alright. Uh, our opponent's probably not going to be able to get to three mana. Three mana. Three energy, anyway. So, we have to hit you for 150. So, we really need you to have enough energy down, which you're not going to do. We can do 140, uh, but we can't do the full 150. I think we're fine with that. This one. Give our opponent a free prize, which is actually a little bit nerve-wracking when it comes to this particular deck uh, versus the Garchomp deck, because your Garchomp deck's just so good. Ah, if only we were playing plus power. Uh, so anyone who doesn't remember, plus power is a uh, an item card that just does an extra 10 damage to your attack. Your attack does plus 10, which is great. Uh, our opponent's going to go searching for their DCE or their special energy. Which means we better hope that we get to draw something that can... Like a Guzma would be nice. Just in case. If our opponent gets it. Um... Hmm. Even Guzma might not save us, to be honest. And hello to all those people that I know are uh, in... What's it called? Yeah, I see you there, Frosty Snow Noob. Um, in incognito mode. Because there are a couple of people who watch in incognito, and I won't call them out. Because that's not what they are about, and that is fine. Uh, I think we're just going to Sky High Claws here again. Bit worried about this one. You're going to come in and just KO me? Yep, that's what's going to happen. Uh, we're fine with that. That's, that's bound to happen. Uh, you made such a deck for a card and put it into your hand. Look at that. Awesome tutor. Tutorage. There it is. Why don't you just kill me? Played a Cynthia. Yes, they did. So, that's going to be doing max damage. Wow. You know what? Ah, oh, sorry. You took too long. Usually, I'd let my opponent just kill me. But considering my opponent realized that they had it won and decided to keep wasting our time. I'm not up for that. Not not at all. Uh, that reminds me. So where are we up to on our challenges? Alright, so lightning one's gone. So we just need water and fairy. Freaking fairy. Uh, water, water, water. What do we got in the way of water decks? Uh, guess what? It's not a water deck. We do have our Nine Tails deck, which is lame. It just doesn't work very well. Uh, we've got ATT. Oh, you know what we do have though? Legacy Blastoise. This deck has been underperforming for about two what, two months now. It just keeps getting its ass kicked, um, which is real sad because it was it was one of my favorite ones back in the day uh, when I first started playing. Actually, it was one of my favorite decks. Uh, just in case you're wondering, that was back when Wizards of the Coast to do Magic the Gathering was producing the Pokemon trading card game. In fact, they're the one who they laid all the groundwork for the Pokemon trading card game back in the day, uh, which is real nice. Um, there was what, what was I missing? Tabletop gaming? No. Streamers. There it is. Ah, uh, it's gone back to freaking uh, shift. Nope. Control shift. Shift. 
No. Alt shift. There we go. It's alt shift. That's what's going on. <gasps> Finally started. Uh, yeah, we'll go first. Sure. Uh, okay, well, that's it's. This isn't a great hand, but this isn't a terrible hand, um, for the most part. Uh, as long as this Pokemon is on your bench, prevent all damage. So, uh, I'm going to show you exactly what this deck is sort of capable of, hopefully. Um, ooh, okay, it's a Bufflint deck. Polita. Is this a sound deck or something? Metal sound, echo sound, or whatever it's called. Mm. Uh, let's put down an Oddish, just in case. Let's burn this Ultra Ball, and I'm guessing the both the energy, because we don't need them right now. Uh, and we will go and fish up our... What the... Keldeo EX. It has Russian, so we use Russian. It'll just become our active Pokemon. Yay! Uh, then we can use this. Random receiver. Randomly gets us an N, which we're actually not going to use. It's kind of hoping that we would get a Professor Sycamore, I think her name is, um, for next turn, but it's fine. Alright, Heavy Ball. Let's see what your deck does. Okay, so it's a Gerda deck? What is Gerda? I'm so confused at this point. I've not seen this deck before, so I don't know what it actually does. This this is interesting, though. Uh, Alright, so... Just evolve that straight away. Uh, then we will use our N to shuffle hands in, and hopefully we'll draw enough uh, energy. That's, that's not enough energy. Uh, we can get some energy, but not enough. We've got two energy in our discard pile. I don't think that we've got any other way to draw cards. I think if we just... We're done. We just pass it. Uh, so this is another combo style deck where uh, you use... There we go. Deluge. So as often as you like during a turn, you may... Before you attack, you may put any number of uh, water energy cards from your hand onto one of your Pokemon. So you can do that for all of your Pokemon, not just like the active Pokemon. So you can just spread out your water however you need to. But if you put it all on Keldeo, Keldeo does 50 damage on, their, on its base attack, but then it does an extra 20 damage for each water energy. So if you get three water energy, which is what you're looking to do anyway, uh, you're doing what, 60, 110 damage straight up. Uh, and it just increases from there, so if you just pile up all the energy on it, that's, that's what you're looking to do. Just boiling it up. Gold Breaker, yeah, does a significant amount of damage, which is fine. Uh, okay, so this is the part where we start going, discard both of you. Uh, usually gets back more water energy, but we've only got two in there, so we'll just grab the two. Put one on, put the other one on for free. Then we'll play the N. <coughs> there we go. Uh, so we do have energy switch in here for good reason. Uh, that's to save our Pokemons. Uh, so you've got 100 health, technically 120. So, that'll do 110, we can energy switch, okay, cool, rush in, use an energy switch, so we'll take this energy and put it on our front Keldeo, then we get to use Deluge from Blastoise, and it's going to make it rain! And then we're just going to pound it. Just pound it. Sweet. Hey, that's a good draw as well. Draw cards until you have four in your hand. 
is nice. Uh, so this deck is all about using up your water energy and then getting your water energy back by any means necessary, basically. So, yeah. It's a very cool deck indeed. Uh, back in the day, though, you didn't have Keldeos. So you did during, like, uh, Black and White and Plasma kind of era. But back when I first started playing this deck, because Blast Disk was actually designed by Wizards. I know, right? Crazy. Um... And originally, you had things like Articuno. I'm not kidding. Articuno. Yeah. Uh, and that was your way to try and win, was um, just hopping up your Articuno and then using, like, some sort of Frost Breath crap attack. It was pretty bad, but it, it knocked out a bunch of basic Pokemon easily uh, and spread around a whole bunch of damage, which was the original aim of the deck. Um, it had a different name as well. What was it called? It was... Oh, it was Rain Dance. Yeah. The deck was called Rain Dance because Blastoise's Deluge ability used to be called Rain Dance. So, uh, I think these ones in here probably still say Deluge. Yeah. Which is funny because it's kind of like uh, they kept... Uh, you can have an Oddish. That's fine. Um, they sort of kept some some of the mechanics and stuff from the Wizards game, which was real weird. Because we just assumed that once it's done, it's done. Uh, I think you were just going to Juniper. Kill our entire hand, draw a fresh new set of cards. Uh, we don't need to Pokemon catch or anything up, don't. Uh, just like Pokemon catcher used to be different. So... As you can see there, it says switch your opponent's active Pokemon with one of his or her benched Pokemon. Um, that's different. Did they change it back again? So later versions of the card came out uh, where you could no longer do it that way. You had to flip a coin, and it was only on heads. So it's just because it was it was too good. It really was. Uh, according to according to Pokemon, it was too good. It was fine. So that's cool. So we can just like keep lumping energy here on Keldeo uh, and just keep smashing our opponent's face in. So just keep pounding it. Just keep pounding it. <laughs> I should have that set up on a face cam. I think I did at one point. Hey, look at that. All right. Whoop. So just in case you're wondering what the Oddish stuff was about was uh, this This also runs a denial theme. So if you can lock your opponent out of like trainers basically, you can stop them from drawing cards, uh, you can stop them from... Oh, that's the sweet EX actually, Plasma EX. Um, you can stop them from playing cards, you can stop them from drawing cards because most of the card draw in this game is not via the Pokemon, surprisingly enough. Some of them, some of it is very little. Most of it is all like item cards and trainers. So if you can stop your opponent from playing those trainer cards, you can usually just kind of like smash their consistency. So you can stop them using their uh, Pokeballs to tutor for their Pokemon. Things searching for energies, bye bye. So many cool things you can do. Just keep pounding it. Just absolutely frosty. You you can quote me on that. Actually, I think the bot has a quote thing. I just I don't know. Oh, I'm not running the chocolate. Whoops. That that might have helped. I remember the chat bot. Next time, I promise. Just blame Jim Quisition for that one. Just keep pounding it. Just keep pounding it. Um, was Sharon Osborne? Sharon Osborne. Yeah, so the Osborns are back in podcast form. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't think I like it. The Osborns can just, just nope, just all the nope. Speaking of all the nope, this this mm, this hand's not real great. All right, so this is a serpentine deck. So superior, as you can see here. Uh, it has some just really quick attacks, 
Double Slash is amazing against us. Mega Drain is also amazing against us. We're going to have some problems here. Uh, yes, we want to draw all the cards. Thank you. Uh, we are going to play another Squirtle. We've got our own little Squirtle Squid. Uh, we're going to put an energy on the back Squirtle, as funny as that may look. And then we're going to use the random receiver. Bing, bing, hello, random receiver. Uh, we don't want to use that. I think we're just going to go done. Interesting, though, that our opponent only has a Dragon out. So, if our opponent doesn't end here, we actually have a shot at winning. Oh, dear. Yanma. Okay, Yanma. Um, oh, N. So, Yanma has... Yen Mega, and then it has like another evolution, and from memory it's just like, you don't need energy to attack, oh, oh and so rusty on this deck, let's see if they're playing that deck, it's quite a good deck, uh, alright, so our opponent's already stuffed us up though, so chuck an energy down there, I don't think we need Suicine, I think we will catch her. Yeah, see, it required, it required a head flip. Different to the other one, because the other one just said to do the switch. Weird. Why is Gold Catcher different? Makes no sense. No sense. Speaking of things that make no sense. Um, do we have water? Oh, okay. I was going to say, do we have water energy in our discard pile? Yes, we do. All right, sweet. Also, I'm finally online while you're streaming, lol. Yeah, about time. Ooh, and Mega. That's, that's, we gotta put a stop to that. Sleepy EX, time recall. Each of your evolved Pokemon can use any attack from its previous evolutions. Yeah, okay, sure. Uh-huh. So you switch to your Yanmega? Sure. Uh, let's have a look at your well, prizes. Okay, so there's your Snivies at least. So you are running Crushing Hammer, so that can strip energy off if they flip ahead. Get a weakness, which everything has. It's all grass weakness. Bad for us. Bad, bad, bad. Baddest man in all the land. Um, Okay, cool. You got a Tails, that's fine. Ah, <sighs> alrighty daddy. What have we got in here? No rare candies. Okay. Think I'll think. I guess we just chuck this here just in case. I'd I'd love to Juniper here. But I don't want to waste Dowsing Machine. And I'd have to, like, use Dowsing Machine just to get its use. Oh, that wasn't... That wasn't as good as we would hoped. Uh, 100. How much damage do you do? 60. I won't be able to do it because I'll be one short. You shouldn't be able to kill this unless you can get that evolution. We can... Is that... Uh, my eyes. Discard two cards from your hand. Search your discard pile for a trainer card. Show it to your opponent. Put it into your hand. We've got nothing. It searches back and energy. Okay, well, let's evolve. I wish we had the other energy, to be honest. Uh, you'll get me a supporter, but we already used a supporter this turn. Not good, Mr. Jones. Not good. Alright, uh, rush in. And I think... We're just going to use the random receiver anyway. And then we're just going to leave it at that. I'm fine with this. I'm okay with this. This is fine. So, Frosty, have you seen the Dominaria stuff? The new buyer box only promo? The fact that they're going to be running, like, a new casual format that's, like, standard commander called Brawl? 
60 card standard commander deck. Okay. Apparently wizards have been trying it in in their offices and it's been going really well. So Apparently it's real good. It's a good, a real good. It's a good time. What time we got? Oh, it's 9.42 already. Wow. Time flies when you're having fun. And I am having the fun. I'll be having more fun once GP pops up. I'm gonna go get crunk. So crunk. Hey, it's a Tails again, good. Okay. Uh, much more promising, let's pop you down. Um, we're going to waste this, I know how that looks. Uh, yeah, we'll rush in again. Here is a method to my madness here. One, two, don't need any of those, so let's use our junk arm to get that back again. This time it gets us three cards. Sweet. Uh, we'll use the superior energy retrieval. We'll pitch a Juniper and a Bicycle to get the one energy back, which is sad, I know. Use our Deluge on our Blastoises. Yeah, you have an energy, buddy. Sweet. Juniper. Mm, yep, okay, so we're gonna pitch probably the Squirtle and the Candy. Uh, this is how the deck combos, by the way. We're gonna go and get ourselves another Keldeo. Uh, what are you, 100? So you're already doing enough damage. Deluge. Water energy on a Keldeo. Water energy to Keldeo. Yeah, I'm finally hyped to try it. It's almost April Fool's to Sunday. Yeah, pretty much. Sweet. Okay, so we're going to deluge. That goes on you. We're going to do something interesting, which is put one on you. Put the other on you, Mr. Blastoise. Okay, secret sword. Ship. Bam. Cool. We can do this, it's fine. Uh, so, gonna need to kill that Snivy as soon as possible. That's definitely a given. Oh look, it's a Buffalond. Um, Actually, it's funny you should say that we actually have a stream that should be happening on April Fools. <laughs> so, that's gonna be awkward fun. So we'll end here. Gives us our, our opponent back like two cards, which is fine. We don't care that much about it. Uh, I think we'll just chuck this on you. We will actually put down an Oddish this time. As Oddish as that sounds. <laughs> we'll take that 20. That's fine. Sit here and chew through. Ah, oh, it's, it's the pretty Juniper. Uh, we'll just sit here and chew through our opponent's cards. Make sure you announce the stream of Facebook or something. I'll tune in. Uh, yeah, it will be. It'll be all over the place, like it normally is. Um, this time we're doing some standard two-headed giant sealed. So, we're taking booster packs from standard, from a couple of different sets, uh, to do it. I think I've got them here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Right next to me, Chaos. Uh, so what do we got? Uh, we've got some Ixalan. Uh, we've got some Armin Cat. Some Aether Revolt. Uh, hang on a sec. Let's get rid of everyone's massive hands. We don't need those. Secret Sword again. Uh, what else we got? Ether Revolt, we got Kaladesh. Yeah. So that should be fun. 
Um, I know that once I get back from the GP, we should be doing a Chaos Draft. Which I'm very much looking forward to. Tomorrow night is the NDA drops, I believe, at 8am tomorrow. So tomorrow night is going to be uh, MTG Arena, hopefully. Um, we'll just see how the servers are. But hopefully I'll be streaming that for like 3 or 4 hours tomorrow night. From 8pm. I still have six boxes of unstable. Oh, that's right, because you you got a case. You are a crazy, crazy man. And I'm a little bit envious, I'm not going to lie. Because <laughs> unstable is just like the best... I think, really, realistically, it's the best draft format. I've played in years. In years. 140, huh? Uh, so you're doing 130. Uh, we'll be able to get three of those energy back, pile them on you, which will be fine. Yeah, we got this. Makes me happy. So many sexy lands. Dude, not just that. Potential of foil lands in there as well. Money cards. Money cards. Money. Uh, so we're going to drop a Keldeo here. And then a superior energy aura treacle, discarding Blastoise and Blastoise. Get back a whole mess of energy. Uh, so you're only going to be doing what? 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 120, 130, 140? No, 50, 2468. My brain doesn't work. 130. So that'll be 140. Uh, then we'll use Deluge. You. And then you. We've got 10 cards left in our deck. So let's Secret Sword our opponent's Pokemon to death. <laughs> 216 lands plus maybe foil as well, yeah. Plus, maybe a foil Urza in there somewhere. Whew. Oh boy, fan yourself. Opponent seems to be desperately digging, which is fine. <laughs> yes, please try and strip a land off one of my Pokemon. We have any left? No lands left in a discard pile because we got them all. Um, all right, so this guy is probably gonna die. I guess that's what he's gearing it up for. That's fine. Uh, I think here yeah, I'm gonna end. Yeah, I know I'll get fuel cards back. That's fine. Land. Yeah, I know. I have way too much. But you know what? Yeah, see? This Pokemon catcher isn't like the rest. <laughs> uh, so we can energy switch here. I think we might do that. Energy switch a land. Uh, uh, freaking water energy. Back onto the other one just in case. Secrete Sorte. <laughs> One of these things is not like the other. A Pokemon catcher with the same name does something something different to its brother. Ugh. It's terrible. Terrible. I know. I know. Whew. Kind of made a spaghetti ball nice tonight. It was real nice. It was real nice. Oh, look at that. It's going to do 80 damage. It will knock out my Keldeo, but it'll leave our opponent one prize card short of winning. What a pity. I'm going to bring up the Snivy and kill it. I could kill this, but really, I just want to do it in style. 
<laughs> in style, I probably should have just used Blastoise because that would have been hilarious. Shwink. Yeah, see, this one requires a flip when it says it doesn't. Haha, -ha, they changed them all. That's the old card. Okay. Secret Sword. And we win! Hoorah, it's the victories. It's the victories. And we finished the quest and got a free booster pack. Oh, breakpoint pack, sweet. Oh, yeah, look at those points. Alright, cool. We're going to leave it there. Thanks for joining the stream. Um, I had sweet chili pork. Ooh. It's Madeline, it's Madeline. <laughs> Um, so tomorrow night is MTG Arena. Uh, don't forget to go and check out a lovely sponsor, Ray, over at facebook.com forward slash Urza's Trade House. Don't forget to go and check out my articles and other places. Whoop! Such as go to dot game, we will find my musings on things like should we have cube product uh, and other mysterious MTG related stuff basically set reviews and things like that for my beginner commander articles you can do that by going over to puremtgo.com and checking out my articles over there as well they also appeared on cardhoarder.com which is kind of neat you can see me in person over at grand prix sydney uh from april the 13th to the 15th 2018 where you will find myself cheshire plays games and a whole host of other content creators such as mp numbers such as whole box and dice uh, and, ooh, holy crap, there's a whole heap of information that's now on the site. Oh, I'm going to have to look through everything. <laughs> and Draftaholics, of course. Uh, we've got Bronson Magic is going to be there. Whole Box and Dice, MP Numbers, Sparrows, Rum, and myself. Look at that pretty man. Look at that pretty man. He's so pretty. Uh, and if you're wondering, Amelia W was the winner of the Channel Fireball golden ticket that I had to give away thanks to Channel Fireball for sponsoring that awesome, awesome competition. They are real good. Um, support them because they're giving Australian content creators a real good voice and having us at the GP, which we're excessively happy about. So do that and then come visit me tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. And this this boss thing up in, in that corner over there? No. No. Over there is supposed to work, but it keeps popping up and then going away. Thanks, Twitch. Doesn't work very well with Streamlabs, I think it is. We'll work on it. We'll work on it. Uh, other than that, I think that's it. I think I'm done. I'm done. Come back tomorrow night. 8pm sharp. Let's play some Arena as I install a patch and I won't start playing and know what's in it until you do. And there's like 10 different decks so you, you can all choose what deck I play. Alright, bye!